Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for question and answer session. So here is the question. First of all, read the question very carefully. So here a 22 years old man present with appendicitis. At operation, the appendix is retrocycle and difficult to access. Division of the which of the following anatomical structures should be undertaken. So here, after careful reading, uh, now we have to find out the key points to answer the question. So here we can see a 22 years old man present with appendicitis. At operation, appendix uh, is retrocycle and difficult to access. So division of the follow uh, what of the following structure or anatomical structure should be undertaken or should be cut. So here. Our final option division of which of the following structure to gain access the retrocycal appendix. So here are the options. The options are iliocolic artery, mesentery of the cecum, gonadal vessels, lateral peritoneal attachment of the cecum, and right colic artery. So here, first of all, we can see here uh, this is the different position of the appendix and it attached at the cecum. And we also can see here is the ilium and here we can see the different position of the appendix first of all this is the maximum portion this is the retrocycal about 64 percent then pelvic type which is 32 percent then we can see subsequent two percent preilial and postilial preilial one percent and postilial 0.5 percent so they are the different position of the appendix in normal person so here Retrocycle, pelvic, subsecal, preilial, and postilial position of the appendix. In this picture, we can see here is the appendix, and this appendix is supplied by this artery. This is the appendicular artery, and it is one of the most important questions for appendix. Uh, that is the uh, the supplying vessel of the appendix. So here we can see the appendicular artery which supply the appendix and this appendicular artery it arises from this artery this is the iliocolic artery and if we go back out we can see the iliocolic artery it arises from this artery and this is the superior mesenteric artery so the appendicular artery the blood vessel or the artery related to the appendix this is the appendicular artery then first of all appendicular artery then iliocolic artery and another one here this is the superior mesenteric artery so these three name are very very important for appendix because in different question the uh, this name superior mesenteric artery iliocolic artery or appendicular artery uh, this arises because some in some questions uh, they uh, ask the question that the, the appendicular artery it arises from the which of the artery and this is the appendicular artery and sometimes may call the uh, uh, iliocolic artery and sometimes question may arise that the iliocolic artery it arises from which of the artery this is the superior mesenteric artery so superior mesenteric artery iliocolic artery and appendicular artery they are related to the appendix so in this picture here we can see another picture here the cecum and at the base of the cecum we can see there is the appendix it is the warm life structure and it lies the junction of the three tinea here we can see and also here we can see this is the appendicular artery which supplies the appendix and this appendicular artery is arises from the iliocolic artery which also arises from superior mesenteric artery so in the another picture here we can see the normal position of the appendix here and the different position of the appendix and uh, if a line uh, from the atrocebro iliac spine and umbilicus here we can see the positions this is the mcburnis point on mcburnis position uh, and it is the junction of lateral one third and medial to two third of the the line and here the normally appendix here and we can see here it, this is the fixed retrocycle appendix and for the gain of access of for this appendix we have to cut this ligament here we can see and this is the peritoneal fold 
uh, or cecal peritoneal fold so here we can see division of the lateral cecal peritoneal attachment will allow cecal mobilization and facilitate the a gain of the appendix so usually is it uh, uh, the lateral peritoneal attachment it is cut during the right hemicolectomy but in case of retrocecal fixed appendix this incision also required that this uh, that means uh, the lateral peritoneal attachment it should be cut to gain access the retrocecal and fixed appendix uh, and if uh, it was uh, free from the cecum then uh, it is very easy to gain access of the uh, appendix and uh, bring out it and like it the appendix and finally appendicectomy so uh, for retrocecal non fixed appendix it is very easy to find out and uh, like it the appendix but in case of the retrocecal fixed appendix it is very difficult so for this for gain the appendix the lateral cecal peritoneal attachment should be cut so here we can see the lateral peritoneal attachment of the cecum and this lateral peritoneal attachment it should be cut before the operation or during this procedure or during the appendicectomy procedure so here finally we can um, recap again a 22 years old man present with appendicitis this is the first part at the operation or uh, during the appendicectomy procedure the appendix is retrocecal and difficult to access that means the appendix is retrocecal and also it is fixed or difficult to access so for this division of the which of the following anatomical structure should be undertaken so here uh, we can see the options iliocolic artery it is not true because iliocolic artery it is very a small structure then mesentery of the cecum it also not true because mesentery is very easy to remove it then gonadal vessels gonadal vessels lies more away from the cecum and the appendix then we can see the right colic artery the right colic artery it lies more more above here we can see this is the right colic artery and this right colic artery it lies more more away from the appendix and from the cecum so here right colic artery is not also true so our final answer is a lateral peritoneal attachment of the cecum so here we can see this is the cut edge of the lateral peritoneal fold of the cecum and this structure will be cut to gain access to the appendix thank you all